Hello! So I thought I'd give a quick flip through of my mushroom journal and it's actually an A5 Stillman and Burn Zeta series sketchbook with a hard cover and I've just and got a bit creative with the cover there that's actually string glued on and then painted gold and a bit of tissue paper in the back and I had fun unwinding the string to make the hyphae and then for the title page uh, here I've stuck in some lovely handmade paper in the shape of a mushroom or supposed to be and just with some information on the shape of the cap, gill attachments and just in information and then the title there drawn on coffee dyed paper and then we've just got my collection of watercolors yeah we've got just information on each species there's some color notes some of them are failed paintings watercolors that I've actually cut out and stuck in just to keep them and some of them have had name changes, like this is a, I think it's a Neobilitus now. So yes, they have a lot of name changes with their new DNA ana analysis. And so they're constantly being reclassified, which can get a bit annoying, but it happens. And some of the sketches are taken from older sketchbooks, like this one here, the parasol. Which I've just folded up so it can fit in the book neatly. And some lovely Scarlet Elf cups. Sulphur tuft and amethyst deceiver. So a lovely lilac colour. The saffron grisette or the saffron ringless amanita, it can sometimes called, and they grow out of this really interesting sort of egg shape, really fascinating. And all of the mushrooms I paint are observed from life. I never draw them from photographs as I just prefer to be able to see their textures and <clears throat> actually look at them for real from life. And this is my favourite mushroom, the Bitter Beach Belit, one of my favourites. So I've painted this one quite a few times now. I like to add all these really interesting facts. So Belitus comes from the Greek for bolos, meaning, meaning lump of clay. That's fascinating. The Russellers, colourful genus there. And then we have another colourful genus of the wax caps. Uh, fascinating. And I do a lot of wax cap surveying. And there we have the iconic fly agaric. Um, and there's the white spore print there. More amanitas. Tree fungi, and fungi found on wood. And the lovely ink caps. Then the sep. And different types of belit. The large belit and some brackets. Here's one um, that I drew in pen and wash many years ago. The web caps. So it's the largest genus of mushrooms in the world, this one. Some of them are deadly poisonous. 
Then the chanterelles, the, the delicious one. The milk caps and fungi of the meadows. We've got, even got our magic mushrooms there. Yeah. And there, just some writing on mushrooms. Another sketch there. And then lastly, we've got this paper actually made out of a mushroom. This is proper fungi paper. It's actually made from the birch polypore that I blitzed up in a blender and um, compressed out to make this paper and then drew the birch polypore on it. I actually think it's had a name change again since I drew this, so that's how annoying it can be. <laughs> and there's just some facts about the birch polypore. Oh, and there's some washi tape that I made out of some of my fungi artwork. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.